Speaker, in 2009, after consultation with mental health and addiction experts, parents and children, I introduced the Protection of Children Abusing Drug Amendment Act. With the support of this very House, it passed. Upon proclamation of the bill, children abusing drugs would be held in treatment for 10 days and not the current five. PCHUT, as it's known, was the sixth bill out of 62 introduced by the government during the spring session. That shows me that it was a priority of the government at the time. Sadly, Mr. Speaker, I can't say the same now. It is still waiting to be pro proclaimed and made into a law. Addiction professionals all have indicated that five days of treatment is not enough to unpickle the brain and get them ready for the rest of their lives by keeping children clean and sober. The government's track record on children, especially our most vulnerable, is shameful. The mandatory reporting of Child Pornography Act, another one of the 62 bills, Mr. Speaker, that are waiting to be made the law of the land. This sends a clear message, Mr. P Speaker. Abused and vulnerable children do not seem to be a priority of this government. Mental health and addiction treatment is a growing concern for all Albertans. While the government talks more and more about the importance of treating addiction and mental health issues, they do not back this talk up with action. And action, Mr. Speaker, talks louder than words. Action would be proclaiming these bills immediately. People with mental health and addiction issues are stuck in a vicious cycle that cannot, they cannot get out of it alone. There are people that end up in hospitals, correctional facilities, or even homeless. If the government is truly serious, as indicated in the speech from the throne, they would properly fund mental health and addiction initiatives and consult with the experts in the field. We need to move forward, Mr. Speaker. We need to move forward now and do what's right for our Alberta families.